So we're going to now look at some more of the programming blocks that we find within the Action Palette. And the ones that we're going to look at today now is going to be the Display Block and the Brick Status Lights. One of my favourite blocks being able to bring pictures up onto the programmable brick, pictures that are within the Lego files, and pictures that I can create myself as well. So I'm going to take you through the process of using that display block and get you doing some of your own. So what we're going to do, as before, we're going to start a new file and we're going to click on new project because it's going to be a new program and we're going to open up our programming window. And as you can see, we've got our usual screen and I'm just going to minimize the content editor so I've got more space to work with. So I'm going to bring in the display block to show you, drag it up into the programming window to where the, the start menu is, and I'm going to talk you through the different options. Now by default, it's ready for us to bring in a pre-made picture that LEGO Education have created. And I can do that simply by clicking at the top here where the white box is that says file name, and you can see it says LEGO Image Files. If I click on LEGO Image Files, you'll see if I scroll up and down, there's a lot of folders here with different pictures in. And if I click on, for example, Lego, there are my different sensors that I've got. And I'm going to click on EV3. And as you can see, what's popped up on my screen is the words EV3 in what we call a preview window. And that picture is ready to be shown on the programmable brick. Now, I'm going to hit the play button and you're going to see the results because this is really important when we use images and when we use this block. If I click on the play, I didn't see anything. Try that again. So I click on the play button, nothing there. What's really important when we use this block is we put a delay in there, we put a wait for. So what I simply need to do is drag in the wait for, by default, it's set to timer mode anyway for one second, which is perfect. If I click on that play button now, I get the words EV3 up on my screen. And that's a really important teaching point for your students to, to really drum home to them that you need that delay after using that display block. And if I quickly show you some of the other features here, I can display text. You see by default it says Mindstorms, but I can actually type in Rob or I'm Rob. And if I click on the play button now, it's appeared there on screen. And as well as text, I can bring in shapes. So I can bring in circles, rectangles, lines, I can put points in, okay. Um, and I can reset the screen. So if I need to reset the screen to get ready for something else, I can do that as well. Now one of the really cool features about this software is the ability to create my own. And if I look on the software here, up, up at the top where it says Tools, there is an image editor. If I click on that now, I get a creation screen. I can start being creative. Now I'm not an artist, okay? So I'm not gonna try and draw something too complicated. I'll try and draw a cartoon figure. You see me there, I'm drawing a nose and I'm drawing a mouth. There we go. His name's gonna be Mikhail and uh, He's got some eyes, there you go, and there you go. So I've created my creation. I'm not an artist, um, but if I click Save, I can type in Mikkel and click OK. And if I exit the program, that's ready for me to use. So if I exit this uh, editor now, and I change it from uh, the text to an image, click on the white box to, to pull up the list, you can see where it says project images, the word Mikkel. So the file name is already put into my, into my program ready to use. If I click on that, get a little, a little preview screen, I like it, press play, there's a picture of Mikkel there on the screen. So you can be really, really creative. The other thing you can do with that content, uh, with that image editor, is you can bring in pictures from any document as well. And if I go up to pictures, there's a Lego face, double click on that, you can see the face has appeared, and you just run through a series of clicking next and, and adjusting it to how you want it to look, and you see it's now turned to pixelated, and that's the image I'm gonna get on my screen, 
And again, we save it. And I'm going to call it face. Click on OK. And this will be ready to be used, be, be used in my program as well. So I click on Mikal, and you'll see face has appeared as well. And again, if I press play, it's appeared on my screen. So I can use the preset Lego in images. I can use images that I create. And I can use JPEGs uh, and bitmaps, GIFs as well, and bring those into my, my, my programming window as well. Absolutely great. The final thing to show you as well is the brick status lights. And you'll see those in a minute. You can see my brick status lights are green. That's saying I'm ready to use. But I can use them as part of my programming. And if I simply bring in the brick programming lights, I can get my brick flashing, different colors. This is set to amber. So if I click on play now, it's changed to amber. It flashed for one second and stopped. So I can use the brick status lights as an output as well. So those are the brick status lights and the image block. Lots you can do with it. Let's see what else is in this action palette. Thank you.